Hello everybody, it's Syl here. Thank you for coming back to my Clan Gen series. Um, I have finally finished uh, with Fuzzy Clan becoming fully updated and my goodness, a lot has happened. So when we left off, um, Fuzzy Clan was 14 moons old and I checked on Cinnamon Clan and Cinnamon Clan was 51 moons old, which is quite a time skip. So I feel like I might as well hop on in and show you how much things have changed. So first off, when we were at 15 moons, two cats joined and it was this cat here named Slate Pelt and it was this cat named Low Leap. Then at 18 moons, Jump Daisy had retired to the Elder's Den, Houndgrass and White Blossom broke up, and Mossy Watcher and Daisy Fur had a kit named Copper Kit, who is now Copper Heather. He became a medicine cat. Uh, let's see, 19 moons, Slate Pelt got a scar from a rogue, and Houndgrass and Slate Pelt became mates. So Slate Pelt, Houndgrass, they became mates. So at 20 moons, Rain Spots passed away at 190 moons old. So let's go quickly here. Here's Rain Spots. Uh, she passed away at 190 moons. Houndgrass was acting suspicious during that time, and Low Leap got a scar from a rogue. And then at 21 moons, Light Dapple got a scar from fighting a rat. White Blossom was acting suspicious, and Low Leap invited uh, a loner named Nectar to join the clan. His new name is now Nectar Dust, and Firestream and White Blossom became mates. So let's quickly look at our cats. This is Nectar Dust. He had joined the clan at 21 moons. And let's see, Firestream and White Blossom became mates. At 23 moons, Low Leap was hit by a monster and retired to the Elder's Den early as he became paralyzed, as you can see down at the bottom here. Slate Fur and Bee Bite had four kits, sorry, three kits named Spider Kit, Ragged Kit, and Gold Kit, and Copper Kit became Copper Paw, the Medicine Cat Apprentice. So let's see, this was Spider Kit, Ragged Kit, and Gold Kit. At 25 moons, Honeybriar had lost his fox to a tail, and Daisy Fur and Honeybriar died of a contagious disease. So if you look in Star Clan, you can see Daisy Fur here. He was really close to becoming an elder. And then Honeybriar is here. Honeybriar was also an elder when he passed away. And so because Daisy Fur had passed away and at the time there was nobody except for Ashtar who had an apprentice, I decided on Slate Fur becoming the new deputy. And then Slate Pelt and Houndgrass got a scar from a rogue. So if you look here, you look at Slate Fur, um, <clears throat> excuse me, she is the current deputy. At 30 moons, Sleep Hell got another scar. <clears throat> Copper Heather then got his medicine cat name. Again, Copper Heather is this handsome man here who had Mossy Watcher and Daisy Fur as his parents. And then a uh, spider paw, ragged paw, and gold paw became uh, apprentices. Spider paw had her mother slate fur, ragged paw had slate pelt, and then gold paw had nectar dust. In 32, on the 32nd moon, jump daisy, <clears throat> excuse me had died in an accident at 134 moons. Here is Dump Jeezy right here. 
Houndgrass was acting very suspicious during the time, so he could possibly have been responsible for Jump Daisy's death. I'm not too sure about that. I think it's very possible. Ragged Paw then got a scar from a rogue, and Mossy Watcher had then retired to the Elder's Den. As you can see, Mossy Watcher is still here. He is an elderly guy now. At 34 moons, Beebite and Slatefur had three more kits named Hazel Kit, Prickle Kit, and Black Kit. So here they are. They are now warriors. And then um, Rudolph Paw, who I renamed to Ice Paw, joined the clan with Houndgrass as his mentor. This is Ice Paw, who is now Ice Puddle. Oh, goodness. At 35 moons, Ragged Paw got a scar from a hawk, and Houndgrass and Sleepheld had a kit named Yarrow Kit. This is Yarrow Kit. At 36 moons, Spider Leaf, Ragged Wish, and Gold Shine earned their warrior names, and Sleepheld got another scar from a rogue. Poor Sleepheld. She keeps all these scars. <laughs> But this is when uh, these three got their warrior names. And then um, Firestream and White Blossom got another kit. They had Crow Kit, who is this cute little one. And then the Loner Worm, who I renamed to Russet Stripe, joined the clan at 37 moons. 38 moons. Um, Excuse me, Slate Fur, Nectar Dust, and Rosa Stripe got scars. But then we had Mint Creek here join the clan. At 39 moons, that's when Ice Puddle earned his warrior name, and that is when he and Spider Leaf became mates. We did get a new apprentice named Alice Paw, who I renamed to Dark Paw, and he had White Blossom as his mentor. This is Dark Paw. Then Hazel Goose, Prickle Tail, and Black Whisker became apprentices. Hazel Paw got Slate Pelt, Prickle Paw got Russet Stripe, and Black Paw got Nectar Dust. Uh, Bee Bite got a scar from a fox. And then we had another cat join the clan, Morning Drop. And he brought with him Adder Kit and Flail Kit. We then had another cat join the clan, and her name is Rust Hale. She's a very beautiful cat. So Yarrow Kit became Yarrow Paw and got um, Ice Puddle as his mentor. We then got Flint Puddle here, who brought in Ice Kit, who I renamed to Frost Kit and Soul Kit. At 43 moons, Houndgrass and Sleepelt had a kit named Timber Kit. Crowpaw became a Medicine Cat Apprentice, and Oddpaw joined the clan with Ashtar as a mentor. Soul, his real his original, sorry, her original name was Soul. I changed her name to Kite Pounce, joined the clan. We then had Moss Patch join the clan, and he brought along Owl Kit and Ember Kit. At 44 moons, Kite Pounce got a scar from a fox, Spider Leaf got a scar from an otter, and Odd Breeze earned her warrior name. We then had um, Sand Whisker here join the clan. We also got Twig Hollow to join the clan, and she brought along her four kits, a uh, Daisy Kit, Frost Kit, who I renamed as Hail Kit, and, oh sorry, it was three kits, I'm so sorry, it was three kits, Daisy Kit, Hail Kit, and Burdock Kit. At 45 moons, that is when our original medicine cat, Light Dapple, and Water Mist died of a contagious disease. 
Dark Sky then earned his warrior name. Ice Puddle and Spider Leaf had another kit named Kink Kit, but I renamed him to Storm Kit. This is him. We then got Flax Ears here to join the clan, who brought along uh, her three kits Green Kit, Heather Kit, and Flax Kit. I renamed Flax Kit to Starling Kit. Then Adderpaw and Flailpaw became apprentices. Uh, let's see here. Where are they? Here they are. Adderpaw got Sand Whisker and Flailpaw got Moss Patch. We then had another cat join the clan, which here is Brook Splash. Their original name was just Brook. Hail Goose, Prickletail, and Black Whisker finally earned their warrior names. All these three. And then Frostpaw got Houndgrass as a mentor, and Soulpaw got Rusttail as a mentor. So Frostpaw got Houndgrass, Soulpaw got Rusttail. At 47 moons, White Blossom and Firestream had four more kits named Mumble Kit, Sheep Kit, Scorch Kit, and Pebble Kit. Which are these four? Look at them! Mumble Kit, Sheep Kit, Scorch Kit looks absolutely beautiful. And a Pebble Kit here. Then Yarrow Drift uh, earned his warrior name. Yarrow Drift is here. And then we got um, Rook Hollow, who had joined the clan. Flax Ears got a scar from a rogue, and then we got this kitty pet. His original name was Rudolph, but I renamed him to Flame Snow. At 48 moons, poor Burdock Kit, whose name would have been Burdock Blotch, died of green cough at four moons old. That's why this poor little one is here up in Star Clan. Goodness, I'm so sorry, Burdock Kit. You could have had such an amazing time. We then had um, Downpaw here join the clan where her mentor is Russet Stripe. We then also have this beautiful blue Holly here who joined the clan and brought along her three kits, Bay Kit, Kestrel Kit, and Fringe Kit. We then also got a Lion to join the clan. I renamed her to be Lion Leg. At 49 moons, uh, Crowkite had earned her warrior, sorry, not her warrior name, her medicine cat name. She's right here. There she is. She's so beautiful. Black Whisker got a scar from a warrior and Soulpaw got a scar from a hawk. Timberpaw became a medicine cat apprentice. And then Alpaw here has Dark Sky as a mentor and Emberpaw has Ash Star as a mentor. At 50 moons, that is when Red Fur here passed away. She was our original elder. She lived such a good long life. We will miss her dearly. I feel like she really passed on a lot to the cats while she was here. We then have Daisy Paw, who just became an apprentice with Ragged Wish. As his mentor, Ragged Wish is this lovely lady right here. Hailpaw then has Rook Willow as uh, his mentor. Let's see. Oh, yes, I forgot. My apologies. Um, Bee Bite and Slate Fur had four more kits. This kit was originally named Ragged Kit, but since we already have Ragged Wish, I renamed her to be Jake Kit. We then have Light Kit, Gray Kit, and Bee Kit, who I renamed to be Flower Kit. And then Russet Stripe adopted Little Lily Kit, which I think is just so adorable. 
Then we had a uh, storm pop have morning drop as his mentor. And then green paw has gold shine as his mentor. Heather paw has kite pounce as her mentor. And starling paw has fire stream as her mentor. Sand whisker got a scar from an otter. Heather paw got a scar from a hawk. And 51 moons is when Yarrow Drift died in an accident at 16 moons old. He was a very young cat. He had only just started really starting to become a warrior. It's really sad that he passed away. I feel just absolutely awful about it. I did not expect us to have so many cats just die like this. It's, it's absolutely horrible. We now have full, we basically have a full three pages of cats. So since then, I have not, you know, ever added in more cats. <laughs> we already have a lot of cats, especially with, you know, Firestream and White Blossom here. I mean, look at these kits. <laughs> Goodness me. Goodness, they always have so many kits. Yeah, they had Yarrow Drift and Timberpaw, who has now sadly passed away. I'm so sad that we've had so many cats pass away, but at the same time, you know, new life is still within the clan. Um, because there's so many cats now, I've just been putting in, like, as many cats as possible. <laughs> but I have not been allowing to have any more cats just join the clan as we already have a lot of cats as it is and I just I there's too many cats for me to keep a hold on here <laughs> so right now fuzzy clan is so far the bigger clan as a uh, cinnamon clan is not nearly this big nor have they had uh, this many kits right now <laughs> which I am kind of thankful for so there we go. So that is the current thing for Fuzzy Clan here. So now I'm going to continue to the next moon. And so now Hazel Goose earned a scar fighting an otter, and we now have Adder Drop, Flail Jump, and Down Sight as warriors. Look at that. Let's go and see if we can find them. Here she is. Sorry, he, Adder Drop. Flail jump and where is Downsight? There she is. Look at her. Goodness me, they're all growing up so fast. Uh, it'll only be a matter of time because they'll become warriors. You still have a little bit of time. You're getting close. You're still pretty new. These kits are going to become apprentices soon as will you three, and the rest of them are still very much babies. <laughs> They're still very much babies who needs um, a lot of time and attention. Uh, I graciously hope that we don't have too many more deaths. I would prefer if we, if we don't, <laughs> especially since we had a lot of this happen already. Especially with the younger cats, goodness me. Ah, <sighs> boy. Oh, goodness. Now we have so many things happen. Eel Throat passed away at 164 moons. Eel Throat, oh. You've been a great cat though, Eel Throat. You've lived for quite a long time, honey. Frost Lake and Soul Clover has earned their warrior names. Owlpaw adopted an abandoned kit named Brook Kit, whose name I will probably change. Mamba Paw, Sheep Paw, Scorch Paw, and Pebble Paw have now started their apprenticeships. Goodness me. Let's take a look at little Brook Kit. Aww. I'm probably going to name him 
Shade Kit. Rename him to Shade Kit. And let's check out who your mentors are. Mumble Paw has Moss Patch. Sheep Paw has Hazel Goose. Scorch Paw has Lion Leg. And Pebble Paw has Frost Lake. So let's check out our new warriors here Frost Lake and Soul Clover. Okay, look at that. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here for today. I think. This was a decently long video with the amount of updates I had to give you all. I will be putting the notes that I had down in the comments in case if you want to uh, read out the things that I've written. And I will put down um, like the newer names and stuff as well in there as well. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling a little bit. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye!